we'll get started. We just gotta wait for Twitch to pick up. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Alright, so I think everything's good. So, welcome to Code Channel. I'm Code, and we're going to be playing more Bloodborne. Uh, we just had to fix a minor thing there, so I think we're good now. Uh, I'm going to hop into the game now. Uh, took a break from it yesterday, went out, hung over to Keeds, so that was, that was good. And, uh,. I'm really eager to get back into it today. <laughs> it, it's something that, like, a game like this, I could very easily be playing, like, for days on end with, like, little interruption, just because it's so good. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see, what were we doing? Okay. I was told, I was told, actually, that I should consider doing Chalice Dungeons now instead of later, so that might be a thing, but I kind of like to get maybe a better idea of where I'm at in the game itself. So I'm gonna quickly like explore around this area a little bit and then maybe, uh, how to put it, uh, maybe attempt a challenge, uh, Chalice Dungeon. Okay, so... Oh wait, this isn't where I thought I was going to be. Well, I hate to go back, but... Well... Right, right, I have another tombstone I can go to that uh, lets me warp somewhere else. That's just saying bottom of the list, that's clearly where I need to be. <laughs> So apparently this one. I'm surprised we're skipping this one here, but we'll see where this goes. I think I may have uh, jumped the tracks a couple points here, because <laughs> I went beat an optional boss, and now I'm in an area where apparently it's not not the route most people take. I've kind of lost my way, hence hence the stream title. Blood Leborn. <laughs> Don't lose your way. Uh, okay. So what we got here? Actually, that's really loud. Okay. Don't want to fight two of these guys at the same time. Oh shit! I have some reach. Come on, this way. That really hurt for what didn't really look like much of a hit. Ooh. Man, these guys really hurt. Ooh, jeez, the backhand. Okay, well, that was a thing. I kind of... I can kind of tell just by the strength of these guys that... Yeah, I've probably probably mess something up somewhere and now I'm <laughs> I'm doing something that I really shouldn't be doing right now. Ow, jeez the reach on that. Ooh, not a good trade. Okay, music. <laughs> I'm gonna take this guy's laundry and run away with it. Oh, shit. Oh, God, not her. <laughs> I 
Odi <laughs> Potentially my favorite uh, enemy so far in Bloodborne. Old lady with the ice cream scoop. <laughs> Very interesting decision from uh, the people who made the game. I'm hearing something. Oh, it's a pig. It came back. Ugh. Oof. Damn it. Oh god, I totally got wrecked. How did I end up over there? Okay, we gotta get inside. Wow. Oh, jeez. Right through the wall. Okay. Oof. Okay. <laughs> Big scream. <laughs> uh So, we fought the giant pig again. <laughs> That's a thing. Uh Okay, where are we? Basically what happened was, I was fighting one of those really tall guys, and I finally lost one, and he took me here. Wow, jeez. Hell. Oh, it's... It's... One of those little things that run away and give you crystals. Okay, wow, twin... Twin... Uh, bloodstones. Those are super useful. You note. Have mercy on scene. That's often. If this was Dark Souls, I'd be looking, like, checking all the walls right now. Open doors. Are you serious? I just went in a big circle? Why didn't I check those doors the first time? <laughs> what's what's behind these doors? This door stump doesn't open from the side. Also, welcome to the chat, guys. And also, hello, I. Spooky music. <laughs> I still want to check the walls. Force of habit. <sighs> Jeez. Oh yeah, I bought a couple weapons at the very end of the, the last stream too. Uh, the pile monker, which I kind of would love to try, but I played with it a little bit before closing up the. Uh, turned the game off last time, and it was, um, uh, how to put it, I can't imagine ever landing it, I imagine it's really good, but, <laughs> like, I imagine the damage is insane, but I can't imagine ever landing it, because it's so slow. That sounds like another pig, maybe. Probably, yeah, right there, okay. Sounds like it's making a lot more noise than what it looks like. No, it's aware of ambush. Okay. Oh, <laughs> God, the the phantom actually startled me. I still think that's one of the like craziest like things, even in Dark Souls, uh, or Demon Souls. I think they had the phantoms that walk around. That's really cool. I actually like that effect a lot. Nothing but a message here. There you go, kitty. Come on. Yeah, I hear you. My cat wants in the room, and the door was shut. There we go. Now she wants out of the room. <laughs> of course. Okay, I guess we might as well pull this lever see what this stuff. device doesn't currently operate, of course. That'd be too easy over this little bridge. Oh, man. I'm really concerned about going farther into this area, because it definitely feels like, uh... It feels like I'm potentially, like, pushing my luck around here. I 
I assume those dogs are the ones I typically... Damn. I don't want to have to fight the dogs and the pig. Let's just, like, sneak around here. Don't know how well that works against the dogs, but... Okay, then... Run. Yep. <laughs> That's why we run. <laughs> Okay. Oh, jeez. Wow. Right through the stairs. I was about to say we have a staircase, so we're in we have an advantage, a distinct advantage. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Pig, calm down. It's almost it almost better just to fight it out in the open. I think. I don't want to give it too much room or else it might charge me. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Wow. I have a feeling that would probably kill. Jeez. <laughs> How... How I hate me. What's that mean? Also, welcome to the stream, uh, G Cat. <laughs> All right. So, I, <laughs> I have no idea where I'm at right now. Is the thing. <laughs> like, I definitely can tell I'm probably, probably someplace I shouldn't be this early in the game. Just because of how much like damage things take to take down. Okay, dogs aren't too bad. Okay. <laughs> I I figured I figured that much at the very least. <laughs> Open gate. Run. Okay, well that's not very encouraging for opening the gate. Oh, hey! Oh! That looks potentially really cool. What is this? Oh, wow. That... That's a big jump in defense. Oh, wow, this is cool. Cool armor! Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm way heavier, though. That's pretty concerning, actually. <laughs> oh man, I have a cool helmet and everything. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. <sighs> hmm. Maybe go with maybe a mix of it. It doesn't look quite right. Maybe use... Uh, it's really the only helmet that gives me a big defense boost, isn't it? Actually, I haven't looked at my armor lately. Hmm. Yeah, it's that hood that... Yeah. Oh, that's weird. It's really high, like... High, like, physical defense, but... <laughs> versus blunt thrust, it's really low. <laughs> uh... We'll maybe stick with our hunter's hat for now. What's the armor like? I have a hard time really telling, gauging that armor if it's that much better. Hmm. 
so it's it's kind of like sort of better it's worse against magic or something or whatever I assume it's magic or element or whatever huh. the gloves are a pretty good boost do they slow me down not really Yeah, it's hard to say. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't really that much slower. Yeah. I I'm on I feel like Bloodborne's probably very similar to Dark Souls in the sense that like you more or less all armors are viable. It's just it's like more about preference than it is about what's actually better or worse. So yeah, I can I can definitely understand keeping this armor on most of the game just because it seems very solid. Uh, let's try the side door up here first. Nothing. Okay. Okay. The gate. <laughs> the message in front of the gate says "run," so I'm going to actually see about clearing the checking out like what's at this end first. Just because I really don't want to be put in a situation where I'm having to run for my life. Okay, this is where the pig was, so... Bolt paper. Probably not something I'll use a lot, but it's probably pretty good. I imagine it's very similar to the... going on? Oh, jeez, there's like two dogs, two dogs, and the guy. It's not a good situation. Dogs aren't too much trouble, but yeah, I don't want to really be fighting that guy if I, with the dogs. Whoa. Oh, wow, floored him. Okay, let's back up here, because he's got, got the speed boost now. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. That was close. Oddly enough, I just kind of picked up on this, that following up a charge attack with my heavy attack actually floors things, and I didn't realize that. <laughs> Tonitrus. What the hell's that? Okay, it's not an item. Oh, it's a weapon! Okay. Let's check it out. It's with this. Oh! It's an electric stick?! <laughs> yeah, it's just got a big ball on the end. That's cool. Oh, whoa! Oh my god, okay, it actually is just just a straight up electric stick. Oh wow. It doesn't seem to have a different mode though, it just you must just like charge it up. It's kinda of what it looks like, I guess. Well that's interesting. I don't eighty okay it's not qu I'll check it out later on some enemies that won't take a thousand hits to take down. Okay, let's go around this corner here. 
kind of want to explore this area before opening that side of doors, just because I have... I have a feeling that... Oh, okay, dog. We got one of the big guys. Two dogs. You gonna notice me? Damn it. Okay. Oh. Oh. We need to back up. Come on. Okay, one down. Okay, we got the other dog here. Got the big guy. It's right behind that wall. I don't know if he's charging. He doesn't have the red. Okay, there we go. Now he's fast. That is so good. Why didn't I know about this beforehand? I guess. I guess my instinct was that uh, that after the charge attack, I was too slow to follow it up with another heavy attack. To be completely fair, was it, it does feel okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I know this music is super ominous. Also, give me a heads up if the mic volume is good or bad against the game volume. I may have changed. I don't think I changed it since I've been playing Splatoon off mic, but I may have fiddled with it a little bit, so I don't remember. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. And it's something that, like, weapons in Dark Souls were the same way. It's not necessarily what's better, I mean, if you were to compare all weapons on leveled, uh, mo there's, like, minor improvements on some weapons compared to others, but it's usually quite hard to gauge. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, also, yes, this music is super ominous. <laughs> it's like really, it's kind of uh, okay. Ice cream scoop, lady. God, Jesus, relax. I barely screamed at all when you tried to, like, scoop out my brains with your scoop. Alright. Okay, this just takes us back around to the basement, so this isn't really... This isn't news. Okay, so we've kind of got the ins and outs of this area, I think. There is that one NPC, which... She's like cowering behind some pots or something. I don't specifically know what to do with her. Uh, she she doesn't seem to have any further interaction. So I'll just kind of uh, remember Hound. Yeah, I'll just kind of leave her to do what's what. I guess. Might be something to come back to. Oh, so there's that elevator up there. I'm not sure, like, what I can do to follow it up, but... Was it up here or was it down there that I saw the elevator? Okay, no, this is a dead end. Now this, I think, takes us over to the pig. Where the pig was, and there's the staircase. Is that a dead end? I'm surprised they didn't put anything on top of these. Seems like it would have been the perfect place to put something. I was supposed to say, is a dog alive? But no. This is blowing in the wind. Uh, she didn't give me the prompt to send her to the safe haven. Okay, you have to be wearing the right, right armor. And I don't think I have that armor from the looks of it. Because I'm pretty early in this. Okay, we'll check out this gate. I kind of want to actually go back and uh, spend these souls. 
It's a hard call, because I definitely have things I could be buying with these souls. Oh yeah, just, just like, the pile bunker. Pretty cool. I like the fact that you, like, prime it, and then you can actually... Boom! That'd be amazing to land on something. Can't imagine ever landing it. I'll probably change back to maybe my Hunter's Axe, because it seemed pretty good. Just because it's like, that's pretty cool. Okay. Closed. Okay. Well, I guess it solves that. That was very anticlimactic. <laughs> Nothing over there, so. I guess we'll get out of this place. Well, that was that was bizarre. I figured there'd be more to this. I mean, I'm sure there probably is. I just am overlooking something, probably. But, oh well. Um, back here. The axe? Kind of like gun lance? Oh, no, the pile bunker. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting because the way it works is you can kind of, uh, rather than having two modes, you have just like with the spear out, but then your actual like weapon change primes it. So then, what is it? Kind of work, kind of works a little bit more like a guitar, and then you can kind of charge it up and then release it and go boof, which is pretty hype. And then you can just prime it again, so no wait time. That's nice. I can't imagine using it though. It mm, it looks it like <laughs> I want it to be good, but I think in practice it probably isn't that great. Not without uh, not without lots of time practicing it probably. Okay, we couldn't open that set of doors. Is there anything else around here? Maybe another side path. Maybe. Oftentimes it's so dark that it's hard to tell if there's like a side hall or anything like that. Could go back down the staircase and check out what's down here. What well, I mean I've been down here, but just just in case. Okay, this is where we woke up. And I believe NPC is down there, so yeah, I guess we might as well just head back. I I get the feeling, yeah, no range, exactly, and range is a pretty big deal. When you're trading range in this game for, uh, like, you do kind of need a base minimum. For, what's this door? Okay, this is down to that other area. Okay, well, I think I've explored this area as much as I can for now. Seems like something that I'd probably come back here at some point for something. Once I have a better understanding of where I'm at, <laughs> I suppose. There was that elevator, so that might be a thing. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll get out of here. Go back to exploring uh, the main area. Maybe I should try Chalice Dungeon. I was told uh, at the end of last stream that I should really consider doing Chalice Dungeons before my first cycle's over because they're they're kind of not as good after the first cycle, apparently. So I could buy a couple things from these guys. I should buy this. I should buy this. Uh, but I could buy this. It's a cool sword. Mm, pretty cool. Or I could buy even the rifle. I can't really tell what the rifle looks like. I want to know what it looks like, but it's like, oh, look, it looks like something you'd find like on a clothesline. I can't really tell what it is. Anyway, so... I do need to buy this, though. So, better get that out of the way. Um... Over here, I might have enough for a level. 
very well, let me uh, okay, yeah, just about enough for a level. Don't know what to put stuff in. I haven't really been having to upgrade my weapons so much, so it's kind of... Uh, I'll put one into Vitality. Farewell, good hunter. May you... So I'm not really having to meet the requirements of anything, which isn't really helping me gauge where I'm supposed to be putting my skill points. Uh, oh, we could fortify this again. Sure. I'm having a good go with the sock cleaver. I think it's pretty good. I'm sure there's probably better weapons, but... I like it for what it is. It's pretty cool. Okay, well, that's something. Actually, I should check my blood gems just quickly. Uh, this one's 2.1... I have a feeling those scaling gems would be really good if, like, if you had enough room for multiple ones. You could probably increase the uh, attribute, and it'd probably be pretty good. Oddly enough, so does the sock cleaver. Yeah, I've heard of... I think I know what weapon that is, just from the brief little bit I know, but... Um, you know what, let's try ta the Chalice Dungeon that I have. Or maybe it's here. Okay, Chalice Ritual. Oh, I don't actually have enough. Never mind. Actually, I can probably spend a thing. Actually, I should probably spend these souls. Oh, okay. Because okay, so that's actually quite a bit of souls, and... Hanging onto them isn't going to do me much good, I imagine. Frenzy Blood Echoes. Don't know what that specifically is. Maybe I'll hang on to that one. Well, what is it? Very well, Frenzy, I don't know what it is exactly in this, but I kind of have... I have the gist that it's something that is something I need to pay attention to. Uh, let me see, what can I buy? I could buy the rifle. But that also puts me halfway towards the Holy Blade, so maybe I'll hang on to it. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's try Chalice Dungeon. Alright. Okay. Hmm. I'm curious how these work, because I know it's like a randomized dungeon sometimes. Some of them are probably, like, pre-made, but, uh, I imagine this one probably is pre-made, just because it was the first one I got, so. Okay, they give us lanterns in these, so that's, that's a good sign. Jeez, if they're, like, using... Okay, let's open this door. Use another lantern, really? Wow. <laughs> Just in case I didn't make it through opening a door, <laughs> I guess. Oh. This is a big. Oh. 
Okay, we got some rats, so... Ow. I'm surprised that the Chalice dungeons don't scale, because that's basically what I was told. So when you try it in, like, a New Game Plus, they're kind of boring. Alright, so we'll go up here. We might just, like, mix it in, like, throughout playing, uh, playing the game just to get locked by a device. That's interesting. We'll just mix them in through our playthrough. Just so, because I don't want to play them, I want to play them, you know, so that they're kind of at their best. I don't want to play them, just sweep them. So we just got a bunch of, oh, firebomb. Okay, we'll just fight these guys. Wow, nothing. Okay, blood vials, that's something. Oh, get more blood vials. Okay, we got a guy at the top of this thing. He's throwing firebombs at us. Oh, jeez. Okay, actually, he has a good arm. <laughs> Can we just shoot him, maybe? Okay, yeah, that's probably a good idea. I don't want to, uh... Shoot him at, like, max range, I guess. I don't want to climb this ladder and have him just firebomb me, is the thing. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <sighs> I already don't like this guy. <laughs> this guy, oh my god. <laughs> All right. Dark Souls. Oh. Stuff. Wow. Oh, we got a giant. Oh, it's one of the big guys. Oh, that's, that's surprising considering. Ow, shit, throwing knives. Damn it. Oh, God. Okay, let's back up here and deal with poison, because poison's bad. Okay, we got a guy with th throwing knives. If I had a shield, I'd hold on my shield, but I don't have even have that. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. This is a bad situation. On the plus side, my poison's running down, so that's good. Okay. Okay, this guy's a little bit weaker than what they oh, what they normally are. Whew. If this was Dark Souls, I'd just like run in on that guy with my shield up to prevent the Oh, what? What's that this? Okay. Prevent that guy from Oh, I could just shoot him out maybe. Oh, wow. Just little tunnels in the walls. It's pretty crazy. Oh, is this back into the main room? It is. I didn't even notice that there. Heh, neat. Oh, I did get the wooden shield. Maybe. Maybe I didn't get the wooden shield. I don't remember. I don't think I did. Okay. Let me check. I did get the wooden shield, okay. Let's let's equip that then. We'll see how this works. Cause I imagine it's something that for for something as small as like throwing knives, it's probably damn it, it only works if I face the right way, of course. Oh jeez. Ooh, wow. Oh fuck. What a- I literally went from the guy throwing firebombs down a ladder at me, to 
to this. <laughs> oh. So far, as <laughs> so far, Chal's dungeons seem to be very keen on being a butt. <laughs> I might as well collect this up. Explore this a little. Oh, jeez. Okay, suddenly a rat. Some bullets. I've been told shields aren't very good, but I assume it's probably something they're at least sort of viable for, uh... Sort of viable in this instance where it's just a guy throwing knives rather than... You know, it probably doesn't work so well for warding off, uh... You know. Man, it's nice. Two mold. Okay, that's a, that's a new one. Some cocktails. Apparently enough that... Okay, I have ten, so that means I can probably spend some. <laughs> okay, I guess this area was just mostly for... Two mold. Hmm. Okay, just kind of a side room with some items. That's cool. Okay, so we'll get out of here. Go around here. You know what, I'm gonna throw a firebomb at the guy throwing knives. That will probably help me out. It'll buy me time. Oh, never mind. Oh no, he is there. No, that's not the right thing. Damn, there's more of these guys. Damn it. <laughs> okay, run around him. Get into this room. There we go. Ooh. Well, that was a little clunky, but we made it. Where are these guys coming from? They're coming out of the woodwork. Okay. Coming from this staircase over here. Oh, jeez, that guy didn't die. Magic pixel. There's something making these guys. It must be why they're, like, red. It's this person. There. Hmm. Oh, jeez. What do we got here? We got... Some kind of giant in the middle. These guys throwing knives. Whoa. Whoa. Jeez. Okay. So this is some kind of boss. Take out the guys throwing knives first, just because... Oh, jeez. I keep getting distracted by the fact that... Being distracted because I keep thinking they're dead already, but they're just left with like a tiny bit of health. We got a big switch here. We'll take care of this guy first, maybe. Oh, whoa, whoa! He's going in. Jeez. Oh, jeez! Ow, ow, ow! That really hurt. Ow! <laughs> just fell down the staircase on top of me. Oh right, I still have the shield out. That's not my blunderbuss. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we got some of those things. Guess we can pull the switch. Operate device. 
unlocked. Okay, so it's a door that we saw earlier. Okay, that must be have like the dungeons, I suppose, or the uh, Chow's dungeons work is. It's kind of like uh, go find the switch, open the door to the next area, I suppose. That kind of makes sense. Uh, let me see. It was over here. Okay. Open the door. Okay, we got the little doors. Oh! Okay, okay, Th this is a boss. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Ooh, jeez. Wow. Okay, that wasn't the correct timing. <laughs> Probably too early. Oh man, this guy... There's not too much going on. But... Ooh! Shit, I actually got... knocked down from that. and didn't do anything from off of it. I like his candles. <laughs> something. Man, that really hurts. Let's throw one of these. Okay. Two. Three. Okay. Not. Oh, four. Jesus. Okay. Wow. Right into the wall. Oof. God, I'm not in very good shape. Maybe taking less silly risks. Oh, jeez, he hit me from behind. Okay, he's kind of entered. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Just pull off his face. <laughs> that works. Oh, that was pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I kind of like that. I guess we'll just keep going. Did I open this door? Or was it the other? Must be this way. Hey, there's a lantern. Okay, this is an elevator, so that must be down to the next floor. I guess. I guess we can check it out at the very least. Yeah, that's the thing, is there's no poison, right? So that's kind of a big deal. <laughs> I definitely don't have the vial. Okay, it's so layer two, so it's just like... We complete it one floor. <laughs> they seem to be show like throwing no shortage of uh, lamps at us, so... I should probably return, because I definitely don't have enough vials to be doing stuff. Um, do I do... No, I don't do Game of Thrones videos. I don't... I'm not sure who you're referring to, but... I'd be kind of... Kind of curious, I guess, of who that is. <laughs> it's interesting. Oh, I don't have enough for the sword. I really want that sword, is the thing. <laughs> I might as well switch... I don't know, maybe, the, maybe keeping the wooden shield just for instances like that might be worthwhile. So I have to admit, the pistol was pretty handy too. Uh, let me see. Where do I want to go? What do I want to do? Okay, we'll go back to see if we can find the next area.